missed my hand. Hey, what's up guys, Snows here, and today we have a quick tip for keyboards. If your, for example, key stops working, starts working intermittently, or starts doing double presses. This works on mechanical switches, and I've actually had this issue with two keys on this keyboard, and I've used one trick on the zero, which fixed the issue completely, and the left arrow key has been doing this for a while, so I wanna try this tip and show it to you at the same time. What should I call a segment like this? Just the tip? Just quick tip, quick fit, quick clip. So what are you gonna need, may you ask? Well, my hand is at the bottom, so... Very simply, a bottle of isopropyl alcohol. That's what I used on the Zero. Once again, if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it, but this is what I did and it fixed the issue completely. So the first thing you're gonna do is disconnect the keyboard. So unplug it, make sure that it is disconnected from power if it has a power supply. That, that could be a very weird keyboard if it has a power supply. Next thing, remove the keycap that's causing you an issue. So I'm gonna remove my left arrow, just like so. And then you have the switch. This will work only on mechanical keyboards because of the way they're made. It won't work on membrane because membranes have, well, a membrane on top of the keyboard. The next step is, believe it or not, spring inside of the switch. So what I'm doing is just pressing the switch halfway and spraying some alcohol into it. It doesn't really matter if it hits the keyboard or the outside of the switch. What we wanna do is just saturate the area with alcohol and then just press the button to make sure that the alcohol makes its way inside every nook and cranny of the switch. Now you might ask, well that's dumb, alcohol is conductive. Well, not when it dries and it dries very quickly. Actually, I'm not even sure if alcohol is conductive on its own. Now, I'm not sure how long isopropyl alcohol takes to dry, but I let it out for 24 hours in a well-ventilated area, and the next day, the zero worked perfectly fine, so I'm expecting the same results from the left arrow. So make sure you let it dry, put your keycap back on. I'm not going to because I gotta let it dry, and then you're good to go. So one thing you might have noticed is that we're in a different set than usual. Well, that's because my usual set is inside of my garage. And since we're in Canada, it gets really cold in this so what I decided to do is to build myself a little set inside of my living room. That way I could continue making videos for you guys. So let me know what you think. Is Does this look good? Is there something you'd like me to add? Oh my God, my batch. So leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it. Leave a comment down below if you think that was dumb, but uh, honestly, I think it kind of makes sense. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay on my couch because my back hurts like crazy, all right? So this is for the 20 second end screen. Oh. This couch is uncomfortable. Ooh, baby. And I better 